Right then, kids of mostly old age, 3.15 and probably future updates at some point will be wiping again your precious, probably eBay bought space monopoly monies. So, it'll be time to grind those credits again for those hyper polygizinator ships. But there is a problem. Was that now? What the problem is? Well, I both hate and suck at grinding. Any ideas on how to get some quick space bucks and not go completely blind from the rage as you transport the fucking same box for 400,000 credits every hour? At this point, you almost be better off buying the fucking credits for real money. Oh, nah, my dude. There's better ways to stack that fettuccine Alfredo like. Easy peasy missions. I suggest you feng shui your way over to the monitor missions, especially if you don't mind the kind of the legal variety. What? Um, uh, okay. Okay, so what do we do? Grabbing a ship tends to help. Oh, uh, one second. Okay, this'll do. Well, yes, this is a ship, but wasn't there a little thicker one you could pick up, like, uh, maybe. First off, Yes, probably, and uh, no. Now tell me, will your normal cheap poor plebs, like yours truly, have the chonktastic mega chad ships that they paid real money for without realization of pay to win? Oh no, clearly not. So let's start with this. Uh, what now? Go do illegal monitor missions. Or legal. Plus, if you plan on killing NPC ships, pick call to arms, because that puts a little more coin in your purse for every additional enemy ship you take down. Okay, so I'm here and I need to destroy these things. Uh, well, but besides the occasional missile that is launched by some random NPC that you can easily avoid by pressing H button once and fart out a flare, you really won't get shot or killed. Well, unless of course you engage with those NPCs. However, well, how do you find those monitors in the first place? Start by pinging the area, by default the tab key, and that'll show clusters where something resides. Ah, well, fair enough then. Oh, and here's an important thing. You should use Laws Wars on all the ships that you use for these monitor missions, since, uh, well, ammo-based weapons basically are two pump chumps nowadays. The missions are timed, so make sure to focus on the monitors first, and then take out the enemy ships to cash in on that call to arms monies. In the end, with my basic bitch Mustang and those two micro-penis lasers, depending on your travel time, I still was able to do these missions around in five minutes or less. But for consistency's sake and Star Citizen's crash and shit server's sake, let's stick with five minutes per mission if you do multiples. So 20,000 credits a pop, five minutes each, nets us for approximate 240 credits an hour. Overall, one of the biggest ships could be yours in just mere moments. And anything in between. Couldn't hurt to plug in some attrition laser repeaters since the DPS goes up as you sustain fire on your target. The funny thing is, for this examination I did test the hand mining, you know, going into a cave with your feet and enjoying the horrible physics and horrible inventory management, which used to be quite good. Now, it turned out that after a solid hour of fucking rocks like I had a geology kink, DON'T KINK SHAME ME! It netted me 10,000 credits. An hour. 10,000. So it's bad, it's really bad. I right, what about ship mining, sir? Hmm, well, on the first glance, a lot of people recommended this, but after seeing how much work goes into this gameplay, as well as some payoffs from 3.14, well, even if it is profitable, I doubt it will be by a lot. Okay, big boy commodities trading, like with the Hercules. You mean that ship that looks like a fat space pigeon? Well, you do need the ship first, plus the money to trade too, not to mention the prices change and the supply for those tradable goods often won't fill your cargo hold in one go, forcing you to go to multiple locations, just to fill that big bloated flapping bird, not to mention the potential for... Yeah, uh, maybe that could work, but I still prefer the space pew pews. 
<laughs> All right, I can dig it. Well, you got Zimani's and you got a ship solid enough to kill Bill. What about bounty hunting? Okay, so yeah, I tested this part. At first, you get some permit tracking missions or whatnot else. Then you get to do some small, cheap ship kills, each taking 10 minutes, depending on how fast, if at all, the target spawns in. And after some killing, murdering, and plundering the corpses, like it's your uncaring and deceased lover, I get some VLRT, a very low risk targets uh missions some people say that eventually you'll get the very high risk targets and sure maybe so but when each mission at the start pays well, thousand credits at best well, really what kind of a progress can you make with that kind of a pay and now i'm not insinuating that you should buy more ships with real money <coughs> well maybe mine or dig that's patreons could use your attention instead my name is dig that and i approve this message in the end, after multiple unreliable and inconsistent ways that got more frustrating as the time went on, the best way to make quick and simple cash, well, ended up be those simple illegal monitor missions. Now, I am very partial for the space combat, so I'm quite glad that I don't need to go to the fucking caves and fucking mine using the fucking inventory to get enough cash just to grope another ship, like a proper ship slot that I am. You are, <laughs> you are an interesting guy, but there's better ways to make a buck in the verse. You sure you want to call this the best? Ah, yes, I said the best, not the most earning. You see, when you compare the boring trading that's only good as a methodical gameplay, which at any point can even suffer the 30k or other issues, not to mention the starting capital, or absolutely tedious mining mechanics you need to perform just to squeeze out credits resembling a reach around heart surge. But worst of all, on foot mining now pays shit. Well, the box missions are, well, they're box missions in an alpha project that's all about spaceships. Would you really say those are the best? At this stage, both monitor destruction and bounty missions offer great rewards, quick completion, simple and straightforward. And you get to do the space pew pews. I get it, I get it. It really is a solid way to give your wallet the mumps.